As we learned in the previous lessons, by using masters in Axure, we can create reusable components throughout pages. Also, by using masters, we can make our work much easier, as if we make a change later on, this change will be applied in all of the pages where the master is present, ensuring consistency in our prototypes. Also, dynamic panels give us the possibility to demonstrate functionality by holding other widgets in states and showing, hiding or moving them on click, hover and on other different interactions. Let us try now a basic example where we can see both masters and dynamic panels in action. We will create a dynamic breadcrumb navigation. To create a dynamic breadcrumb navigation, first we need to create the pages in our sitemap and then four empty masters. Let's delete the existing ones. Now right click on the home page and select add sibling after. Rename the page to primary page and then indent it because it is an actually child page not a sibling. To this primary page add a child page and rename it secondary page. Now right click on this page and add another child page. Rename it tertiary page. Now select secondary page and right click and choose sibling page after. Rename it category page and add a child page to this one renaming it product detail page. Select the category page, right click and add a sibling page after for the final menu item which will be named content. So rename the page to content page. We added the pages that we need and now we are going to add four masters in the masters pane. Click on add master and rename the first master to template. Now add another three masters, naming them header, menu and breadcrumb. Now right click on template, select drop behavior and choose lock to master location. Do the same for the rest of the masters. By choosing this option, the widgets in all of the masters will maintain their X and Y coordinates no matter where the master is placed in a wireframe. In the master's pane, now double click on the header master to open it. Drag the placeholder widget onto the canvas from the widgets pane and place it at X10 and Y10 coordinates. Resize it to 100 pixels width and 50 pixels height and rename it to logo in the widgets interactions pane. Now double click on the widget and type logo with capital letters. From the widgets pane, drag a header one element onto the canvas. Double click it and write breadcrumb nav prototype as a title. It is kind of big, so let's make the font size 20 pixels and maybe change the font color to a dark gray but not that black. Also do not forget to name the widget. I chose to name it title. Remember to do this always as later on when building more complex prototypes you will need to easily find the widgets that you want to add interactions to. We created the header master so let's move on to the next one the menu. Double click the menu master in the master pane and drag a classic menu horizontal widget onto the canvas from the widgets pane. Position it to X10 and Y50 coordinates. Click on the first menu item labeled file and rename it to primary. Now name the widget in the widget interactions pane to menu primary. Now in the same pane, double click on the on click event to add a case. Select open primary page in the current window in the configure actions on the right side. Click OK. Click on the second menu item 
called Edit and rename it to Category. Name the widget Menu Category and click on the on-click event to add a case. Choose Open Link in Current Window on the left and select Category Page from the Configure Actions on the right side. Now click OK. Now do the same for the third menu item called View and change it to Content. Name the widget Menu Content and on click choose to open the content page in the current window. To add a submenu item, right click on the primary menu item and click on the Add Submenu option. Click on the first submenu item and enter Secondary. Now rename it Menu Secondary in the Widget Name and Interactions pane and on click choose to open the secondary page in the current window, like we did before for the other three pages. Now delete the other menu items as from the sitemap we see that we only have one page at this level. We remove the other items by right clicking and selecting delete menu item. Now right click on the menu secondary widget and choose again Add Submenu. We will select the first menu item and write Tertiary. Rename it Menu Tertiary and on click we will add to open the page in the current window. Now delete the other menu items like we did before by right clicking on the item and selecting Delete Menu Item from the context menu. Now let's add a menu to the category item. Right click and select Add Submenu. Write Product Detail in the first menu item. Name it Menu Product Detail and on click Add to open the Product Detail page in the current window. Now we can delete the other menu items as we do not need them. We finish the menu master with this and now we will move on to the breadcrumb master. Right click to open it. From the widgets pane we will select the dynamic panel widget and we will place it at X10 and Y90 coordinates. We will resize it to a height of 30 and a width of 400 so that we will have enough space to show the breadcrumb navigation. Now rename the panel breadcrumb and in the Widget Manager pane we will add as many states as we have pages in the sitemap and name them accordingly Home, Primary, Secondary, Tertiary, Category, Product Detail and Content. Double click on the primary state in the Widget Manager to open it. Drag a label onto the canvas, position it at X0 and Y6 and rename it Home. Now rename the shape to name Breadcrumb Home Link. On click choose to open the home page in the current window. Press Ctrl and Plus to zoom in just a little bit. Now select the label and by holding Ctrl Drag it onto the right side to make a copy of the widget. Now rename this one Primary. Change the shape name into Breadcrumb Primary Link and on click choose to open the primary page in the current window. We need to add the greater than symbol to show the depth so let's drag another label between the two and add that symbol. By holding Ctrl and clicking on different widgets we can select them together. Now right click and choose Copy from the context menu. We can paste the elements in the secondary state by right clicking on the canvas and choosing Paste. Now by clicking anywhere in the canvas the pasting will be done in the exact cursor location so we will have to move the elements to position them accordingly. 
I copied and pasted also the primary link, as I forgot about it. By selecting the greater than symbol and pressing Ctrl while dragging, I will duplicate it. And I will do the same with the primary label that I will duplicate by pressing Ctrl while dragging with my mouse to the right to position it after the greater than symbol. I will change the shape name to breadcrumb secondary link and choose to open the secondary page on click in the same browser window. Now let's select all of the widgets by clicking on the canvas and dragging in order to catch all the widgets as we have the Select Contained mode on. As a reminder, if we choose the Contained mode, then in order to select an element we need to drag over the entire widget. Now that we selected all of the widgets, we can right click and select Copy from the Context menu. We can open the Tertiary state and in order to paste them exactly in place, we can just press Ctrl plus V as we are accustomed to it from other applications. Now we can select the last greater than symbol and the secondary label and duplicate them by holding Ctrl and dragging onto the right side. We will rename the label to Tertiary and the shape name to Breadcrumb Tertiary Link. We will choose to open the page in the current window. For the rest of the states, we need to do the same as we did up until now. We just need to select how many labels we need to copy from one state to another. Then paste them in the new state, control and drag to duplicate them, rename the labels and the shape names according to the page they represent, and change the onclick event every time so that the correct page opens when we click on the breadcrumb. Now that we finished with the breadcrumb master, we can open the template master. While holding down the mouse button, drag the header master and place it anywhere onto the wireframe. Remember that we specified earlier the draw behavior to be locked to master location, meaning that the widgets in the master will maintain their X and Y coordinates no matter where the master is placed in the wireframe. Now drag the menu master. You will see that it is automatically placed a little bit over the header master. We need to correct this, so open the menu master and reposition the widget to Y80. Just by doing this small tweak, we solve the issue in the template master, as now we open it and we see the two masters positioned well now. We will drag also the breadcrumb master onto the canvas and as you can see we have the same problem. We just need to open the breadcrumb master and reposition the dynamic panel to Y120. Coming back to the template master, we will see that all the masters are positioned ok now. As I said before, by using masters we can make our work much easier as if we make a change later on, this change will be applied in all of the pages where the master is present. Let's open the home page now. We can drag the template master onto the canvas, so now we will have the full component on the home page. At the bottom, in the page interactions pane, we can select the on page load event. In the case editor, we will select the action set panel state and check breadcrumb on the right. It is in fact our only option. The state selected is home and it is corresponding to the page that we are on. Now click OK to apply. Double click to open the primary page from the sitemap pane. It is empty so we can drag the template master onto the canvas. In the Page Interactions pane, click on On Page Load Event and select Set Panel State of the Breadcrumb Dynamic Panel to Primary and then click OK to apply. What we need to do now is open the rest of the pages and do the same for all of them. We just need to add the Template Master to all of them 
and in each page be sure to add the on page load event to set the breadcrumb panel state to the page's name. Now you can see why it is important to have proper naming conventions and a strategy on how to create the prototype straight from the start. When the user will click on a link, the page will open and the dynamic panel will change only when that page is loaded, showing the correct navigation path. If we are going to preview the prototype, we will see this exact behavior. We can choose to copy or save this prototype. To preview it, we need to click on the preview button in the toolbar and it will open in our default browser. I will save this prototype and you can find the RP file together with this video in case you need it for future reference.